गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स चैप्टर फोर मोशन इन में कंटिन्यू First of all, a fighter plane flying horizontally at an altitude of 1.5 km with speed 720 km per hour. Okay, so see, speed of plane, pretty, is equal to 720 km per hour, 720 km per hour is equal to is equal to 720 km per hour you have to convert in meter per second is equal to 720 km per hour you have to convert in meter per second so yes kilometer means 1000 720 into 1000 divided by here it is 3600 clear so yes 10 10 0 0 36 into here it is 2 so it is 200 meter per second it is 200 meter per second. Okay. It is 200 meter per second. So, speed of plane VP is equal to 720 kilometer per hour is equal to it is 200 meter per second. Now, see, we will draw figure here. here. It is plane. A fighter plane is moving horizontally with speed VP. Clear about this? Okay. A fighter plane flying horizontally at an altitude of 1.5 km at, at an altitude of 1.5 km means this height is 1.5 km okay with a speed of 720 km per hour that is 200 meter per second passes directly overhead and an anti-aircraft gun directly overhead and anti-aircraft Gun. Here it is anti aircraft gun. Clear? At what angle from the vertical should the gun be fired for the shell with muzzle speed 600 meter per second to hit the plane? See what is the situation? This plane is moving horizontally. Okay. Here there is one anti aircraft gun. Okay. And this anti aircraft gun want to shoot this plane. Want to shoot this plane. Okay. So your question is at what angle with vertical, at what angle with vertical this anti-aircraft gun should project, should shoot the bullet. Clear about this? Okay. What is your question? At what angle from the vertical should the gun be fired, be fired? See, why to fire at some angle? If this anti-aircraft gun directly fires in vertically upward direction, this plane is moving. So yes, it will not hit. So how to find? How to find? See, let this anti-aircraft gun, this anti-aircraft gun, it, it is, it is, it fires whatever this bullet or what at angle theta, at this angle theta with speed v of shell so it is v of shell with speed yes v of shell v of shell cell with muscle speed 600 meter per second or we can say cell uh, velocity of bullet okay so let with vertical it makes angle theta so how to write let let speed of firing is B and B is equal to yes you are given it is 600 meter per second is equal to it is 600 meter per second at angle theta with what you can with what you can see this angle theta is with vertical then with horizontal what is angle then this horizontal angle is it is 90 minus theta then with horizontal angle is 90 minus theta now how to find see here it is this plane is moving in this direction. This plane is moving in this direction. At the same time, 
at the same time this anti aircraft gun fires so yes plane is moving in this direction this bullet is moving in this direction plane is moving in this direction this bullet is moving in this direction plane is moving bullet is moving yes at this point they will hit at this point they will hit so yes this plane is moving in this direction with speed vp and yes this bullet is moving in this direction at this point yes or no so at this point they will hit at this point they will hit so see during this time that i am assuming kill let at time t it will hit at time t it will hit then how to find see starting from here plane is starting from here gun is starting from here okay plane is moving with speed vp it hits at time t so yes this plane travels some distance with speed vp in time t yes or no yes it is similarly this bullet is moving is moving is moving is moving is moving so during time t it also travels some distance it also travels some distance some horizontal distance it also travels some horizontal distance if these two horizontal distances horizontal distance traveled by plane and horizontal distance traveled by this bullet if in time they are same then and then they will hit clear about this so yes that at time t it will hit it means it means what must be condition horizontal horizontal distance horizontal distance traveled by horizontal distance traveled by plane is equal to horizontal is equal to horizontal distance horizontal distance traveled by traveled by bullet <coughs> traveled by bullet clear about this horizontal distance traveled by plane is equal to bullet is moving in this direction it is its horizontal distance if both distances are same then and then it will hit okay so yes horizontal distance traveled by plane what is speed of plane in horizontal direction yes it is vp then how to write it is vp into v is equal to yes this bullet is moving in this direction this bullet is moving in this direction yes or no yes what is its velocity in this horizontal direction yes see vb it is in this direction this angle is 90 minus theta so what is this component this component is vb cos 90 minus theta clear about this clear about this what is this component this vb cos 90 minus theta so here you have to take vb cos 90 minus theta into t clear about this okay see understand vb is in this direction but as as their horizontal distances become same then and then it will be so you have to take okay what is horizontal distance traveled by bullet and horizontal distance traveled by bullet so you have to consider this component of speed okay now see t cut t cut now vp is equal to vp cos 90 minus theta means sin theta then sin theta is equal to be at least it is vp upon vp what is speed of plane yes it is 200 it is 200 divided by what is by bullet it is so it is 1 by 3 so sin theta is equal to sin theta is equal to 1 by 3 1 by 3 it means it is 0.33 and therefore theta is equal to it is 19.5 it means if this plane is moving with speed 200 km per hour altitude is 1.5 km then to hit this plane this anti aircraft gun must have to fire bullet at angle theta that is 19.5 degree with vertical with vertical if you are asking for horizontal then yes 90 minus 19 point okay what is second question second question is at what minimum altitude should the pilot fly the plane to avoid being hit okay what must be altitude means this height okay if this plane is not hit by this anti aircraft what is angle achieved 
19.5 degree. Okay, if 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 maximum height for this anti aircraft gun we find. Okay, if we find maximum height for this anti aircraft gun. Okay, and if I fly this plane, if I fly this fl uh, plane at altitude greater than at greater than maximum height of this, then yes, it will not be. So we will find maximum height. We will find maximum height for gun. Okay, what is equation of maximum height? Edge is equal to v is equal to square sin square. Angle of projection with horizontal always it is 90 minus theta. It is 90 minus theta. Remember, theta zero that is angle of projection. It is with horizontal. So divided by here it is v zero square sin square 90 minus theta on. Okay. So yes, h is equal to it is here it is v zero square v zero. Yes, I can replace this v zero by v b because it is speed up to it. Okay. Sin 90 minus theta means it is cos square theta divided by here it is 2g. So h is equal to vb. What is speed of bullet? What is speed of bullet? Speed of bullet is 600. Yes, it is 600 whole square. What is speed of cos? Cos 19.5. Cos 19.5. Cos square 19.5 actually. It is 2 into n. So h is equal to it is 600 square. 600 square. Cost 19.5. Its value is 0 0.943 whole square. Divided by here it is 20. If you calculate this, you will get your answer 16006 meter. So you can say it is nearly 16 kilometer. Okay. So if if maximum height achieved by bullet fired from this gun is 16 kilometer is 16 kilometer then if I fly plane at an altitude 16 kilometer or more it will not hit it will not hit clear about this okay so yes you have to understand why you take only this component because we have to find horizontal direction clear about this A man can swim with a speed of 4 km per hour in a still water. How long does he take to cross a river 1 km wide if river flows steadily at 3 km per hour and he makes his stroke normal to the river current? How far down the river does he go when he reaches the other bank? See what is given. Here it is. River. Okay. A man can swim. With a speed 4 km per hour in still water. Okay, so what is the speed of man? Vn is equal to, it is 4 km per hour. How long does it take to cross a river 1 km wide? This river is 1 km wide. 1 km wide. That means D is equal to, it is 1 km wide. Okay. If river flows, uh, sorry, river flows steadily at 3 km per hour, VR is equal to, it is 3 km per hour. And he makes his stroke normal to the river current. It means, if man is starting from here and it is moving in this direction, with speed VM, with speed VM. So, it's simple. Yes, he is starting from this point, moving normal with speed VM. Distance is 1 km. Speed Vm. Yes or no? Then what is time taken to reach from this point to this point? Okay. So first question is E. Is it? Okay. Time is equal. Time is equal. Distance upon speed of man. Distance is 1 km. Speed. 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 It is yes. Vm is 4 km per hour. But see. 1 km. And it is kilometer per hour. So yes, it is 1 upon 4 hour. It is 1 upon 4 hour. Hour. Yes, 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes. So is equal to it is 1 upon 4 into 60. Means you can say it is 15 minutes. You can say it is 15 minutes. Clear about this? What is second question? See, how far down the river does he go when he reaches the other bank? See, we know that. 
man is moving in this direction yes or no but but river is flowing in this direction we are river is flowing in this direction we are yes or no yes it is river is flowing in this direction so yes we know that see if i draw this velocity of river from this same point from this same point then velocity of river it is in this direction complete the diagram yes or no it is resultant velocity it is resultant velocity it means man is moving in this direction water is flowing in this direction so yes we know that we have already discussed one question about uh, like this okay man if it is starting from this point it will reach to this point it is its initial position and it is its final position so yes how far down how far down we should have to find this distance you have to find this distance how to find this distance see this horizontal distance is traveled by speed vr okay yes we have seen in previous quite example okay a horizontal distance to calculate horizontal distance you have to take horizontal component of velocity here what is horizontal distance to find this horizontal distance you have to find vr okay you have to take vr then yes distance traveled by a distance is equal to it is vr into t it is vr into t because this horizontal distance it will travel into this component vr what is value of vr it is 3 km per hour what is time in hour it is 1 by 4 then yes it is 1 by 4 km 3 by 4 km 3 by 4 km 3 by 4 point 75 km okay km km yes if you find you will get your answer 750 So yes, this distance will be this distance will be seven fifty. Pay about this, okay? So yes, it is how to find this question. Okay. Next one is C. A stone tied to the end of a string eighty centimeter long is whirled in horizontal cycle with a constant speed. If he makes fourteen revolutions in twenty five seconds. what is magnitude and direction of acceleration of stone see a stone is tied yes it is stone is tied to end of a string 80 cm l 80 cm means it is 0.8 m okay is whirled in horizontal cycle means like this see if i have one pen in my hand and one stone it is whirl in horizontal direction so yes this stone will perform circular motion then what is radius of circle radius of circle is nothing but length of string so radius of circle radius of circle is nothing but is nothing but length of length of this string okay now is whirl in horizontal cycle with a constant speed if he makes 14 revolutions in 25 seconds see revolutions revolutions 14 in time 25 seconds yes or no then for one revolution what is time for one revolution what is time and you know that for one revolution the time is called the time is called time period okay so yes time period capital t time period capital t is equal to how to find yes it is 1 upon 14 1 upon 14 into 25 1 upon 14 into 25 so yes you can say this 25 by 14 so yes this thing you have to find acceleration okay what is centripetal acceleration yes it is value of t how to find omega angular speed angular speed angular speed omega is equal to if you remember equation it is 2 pi upon t is equal to 2 as it is pi means 22 upon 7 yes or no and t it is 25 divided by 14 so yes it is 25 divided by 14 clear about this okay 7 into 2 22 into 44 into 88 so it is 88 divided by 25 is 88 divided by 25 yes radian per second it is radian per clear about this so yes it is omega 
from data. So far, you have to find time period, then you have to find angular speed. Now it is time of acceleration. Now it is time for acceleration. AR is equal to it is omega square. Is equal to omega square. 88 divided by 25 whole square. What is R? Radius of circle is equal to length of string is equal to this point A. Is equal to this point A. Clear about this? If you calculate this, you will get your answer 9.91 meter per second square. Meter per second square. And yes, what is direction of acceleration? Towards center. What is direction of acceleration? Towards center. Clear about this? Okay, yes, it is one question based on uniform circular motion.